Here along a tributary of the Latribonite Plain is where some of the first cholera cases in Haiti were reported. Over 50 residents of the impoverished neighborhood of Valais, north of St. Mark, have died so far, and many, like Evans Manet, are looking for answers. We don't know where it came from, but we know this was one of the first places where cholera was found. And a lot of people died because we have no clean water. Look at the kids over here. Even if we wanted to clean them up, what water could we clean them up with? The La Trebinite Plain, a few hours north of the capital Port-au-Prince, consists of rich agricultural lands fed by the river. Allegations that cholera was brought to Haiti by Nepalese UN peacekeepers camped upstream led to violent protests last week, though the source of the outbreak has not been determined. None of that concerns the residents of Valais. They worry about where they will get safe water. Mr. Monet told us there are three sources in the area, the river and well water, which are considered unsafe, and water from this chlorine treatment tank donated by an NGO. A white man came and gave us this machine, but the problem is the water is so bitter, no one likes to drink it. When I drink it, it gives me a stomach ache. Some in the neighborhood drink river water treated with purification tablets, but there have been questions about their effectiveness. Pierre Leroy says his mother died after drinking river water treated with the tablets. We took my mother to the hospital, but they did not know what she had and released her. She died a day later. Pierre is the eldest of eight children. His father is no longer with the family. Now he must provide for his younger brothers and sisters. There are no jobs here and we have no money. We don't have much food and sometimes we go without. The medical organization Doctors Without Borders has set up a cholera clinic at the hospital in St. Mark to assist local doctors, one of 21 facilities around the country. They have brought their cholera treatment expertise to Haiti. Haitian doctor August Bertin told us cholera fatalities at the hospital are now rare. This has been a great experience with Doctors Without Borders, and every time we save a life, it makes me happy. For the people of Valais, that is little conciliation. They have already lost many family members, friends and neighbors. They now fear the river and worry about the rainy season next year when it rises over its banks and into their homes. Jeff Swicord, VOA News, Valais, Haiti.